Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today we're going to plant this, uh, what is this? <laughs> this is a Musa, what is it? It's a blue java banana, the ice cream banana. Uh, so this year, or this past fall, uh, instead of bringing them all inside, let me go grab one of the, uh, the babies that I have over here. Okay, so this fall, uh, when I brought in the bananas, generally I bring all the bananas in and I put them under my grow lights in the grow room. Uh, they just take up a lot of space. They really don't like it. Like, they really don't like it in the house. I, I guess the light level is too low, the humidity level is too low, and uh, they just, they, they really decline from the moment they come in. Either they decline, or they keep putting out growth because it's so warm in the grow space that they crush up against the ceiling and it's just a, a terrible situation. I have to keep cutting them down or let them keep crushing. And when they crush against the ceiling, there's no light up there. So it's just a, a really hard thing to grow bananas in the house. Uh, for me, uh, upstairs it might be different because they're nine foot ceilings, but down here it's uh, seven and a half, eight foot ceilings. I guess it's an eight foot ceiling. I'm six and a half feet, so uh, I've got a good foot at least above me. So, um, I've been watching on YouTube, I don't know what YouTubers I've been watching, but um, over time I've been periodically uh, checking them out, and um, there's, there's a method of, uh, of uh, overwintering your bananas uh, bare root and keeping them in a cool, dark location. So that's what I tried. I kept a couple of my bananas uh, just, just in case it, it failed miserably, but it didn't fail miserably, uh, which is fantastic. So I took the... The older bananas, uh, the older ice cream bananas that I have, and uh, I used those ones because those ones, if I brought them downstairs, they'd crush it against the ceiling easily. Within within a month, they would be touching the ceiling because their cigar leaf comes up and it would just bend and it's just a whole thing. So um, all of those ones, I I, uh, I I did that method too, and any of the small little suckers, I brought downstairs. So I think I have two. I think I kept two little suckers. And they've been doing beautifully over, over winter. Uh, they're not doing so bad. Uh, I kept them fairly dry, and just now I've started to increase the watering because it's going to be going outside. They're, they're starting to produce uh, some new growth. So, uh, so yeah, let's get to uh, planting the, uh, the little banana corm, and I'll show you what's happening. Also, I'll take you and show you what, what I did with the, the bigger ones. I just planted them up. This fall I'm going to show you how I bare rooted them and, and did what I did. But basically you want to bare root your, your banana plant. Uh, take as many of the roots off as you can. I know that it's difficult because their root system is pretty substantial um, but uh, you don't need much and uh, I kept a little bit of soil on, just a little bit and I wrapped it in a plastic bag, a plastic grocery bag, and I tied the handles around the trunk. So this one here I thought was dead. Uh, this one, uh, the top all rotted off, and it was just, I just did it a couple of weeks ago, and I brought the, this plant downstairs uh, into the grow room, and it's just been sitting in the bag uh, for the last couple of weeks. Actually, maybe for one week. And uh, when I took the, um, the mushy top part off, I was left with the corm still feels fine, and uh, it, it's not mushy. Down below, there's a little bit of softness to it, but that could just be the soil I'm crushing. Um, but there was still a little bit of green, so I am hopeful that this one is going to survive. The big ones are doing well. I potted those up. I'll show you those in a second. And uh, yeah, so this one was the one that was maybe a little bit iffy, but uh, I think it's going to do just fine. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to remove as much of the old goop as possible, just because I don't want it to rot anything. I'm going to plant it in a nice, uh, this is a two gallon uh, nursery pot, and uh, yeah, I'll bring you down, and uh, we'll, we'll put some soil in here, we'll pot this up, and hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll be able to see some, some growth poking through the soil. It just wants to get its roots going. Um, we just had a little bit of a cold snap outside, so I won't be able to put them outside, but uh, we're going to give it a little bit of a head start in the house. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the paper towel thing, because that's what I do. Because uh, the holes are so big in the sides here, it's going to uh, wash all the soil away, because the soil that I'm using is a nice light mix. I'm going to be using the, uh, the uh, Pro Mix, uh, just regular uh, purpose Pro Mix, the BX Mix. And uh, I'm also going to add some 
uh, slow release fertilizer. This is for hanging baskets. I would actually prefer something with a higher uh, first number. I want a lot of nitrogen. I don't know whether it's showing up because of the glare, but uh, this one here is uh, 11, 20, 11. I would probably prefer to have something that was maybe, well, maybe a balanced fertilizer because you really want the root production right now. Uh, so we'll get some soil. I'm going to fill it about halfway full. Okay. Then we're going to put this corm in. So how I'm going to plant this is I'm going to make sure that it's about uh, planted about this deep. So uh, the corm is going to be just a couple of, uh, maybe an inch or two. There we go. Um, so this is the corm. This is the, the growth spike. So I want to make sure that, that it's at least planted this deep. Uh, maybe a, at least an inch with the corn below the soil surface. Uh, if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can for sure. Uh, I just want to, I don't want to go too, too deep. When I plant it outside uh, in the garden, I can go a little bit deeper. But uh, if you're keeping it in a pot, you could start off a little deeper. But I just want to make sure that the corn is, is maybe an inch uh, uh, deep in the soil. It adds to anchor the plant. If it's too, if it's too shallow, the root system is too shallow, then uh, it might tip over. It might not have the stability it needs. All right, it's not centered in the pot, which is a shame, but it's not gonna stay in this pot forever. It's gonna be planted out in the garden or it will be planted into another pot. Uh, so this is just to hold it for now. I forgot to put some, uh, some fertilizer at the root level. But that's all right. We can work it in with our fingers. It looks like a lot, but it's slow release. So it doesn't all come out over time. It, at the same time. So every time I water this, it's going to get a little bit of food. Um, and also, I will fertilize with my. Um, I use Miracle Grow. Usually, it's the uh, all-purpose. Uh, so standard 2020-20, I believe. Uh, sometimes it's Ultra Bloom because that's what I am working on. If I'm if I'm uh, fertilizing my annuals, it just gets a, a drink. Uh, so that is it. I'm going to give this a, a little bit of a water in. I'm not going to water it too, too much. Uh, and the reason why I'm not going to water it too, too much is because <clears throat> the, uh, the corn was a little bit damp as it was. I was trying to let it dry out just a little bit, um, but I want to moisten the soil now just a, a smidge. You'll notice when, whenever a banana uh, part dies off, they're, they're mostly water bananas. Uh, so, so once it, it dies, it goes really, really mushy. Don't be alarmed. They always go mushy. Uh, it's not very often uh, something on a banana dies and then just goes uh, completely dry uh, first off. It usually gets to be this gross, slimy, icky grossness, but that just comes off eventually and it, and it uh, goes back to normal. I'm just going to go grab some water and we'll give it a little drink. Okay, so there we go. Just want to moisten the soil. We want to get those roots to get active because it's been sitting for so long bare root. So anyway, we'll come back and we'll look at this in a, in a couple of months, probably when it goes to be planted out in the garden. And uh, yeah, hopefully it uh, grows well and maybe I'll give it to a friend because I don't, I don't have uh, space for all these bananas. I have uh, two big ones upstairs. I've got my little babies now. So uh, some of my neighbors have been uh, asking about bananas. So hopefully I can share the wealth. Anyway, let's uh, check out what the big bananas are looking like. There's no leaves, but uh, it looks like they're starting to grow. Okay, so here are the two bananas that were, well, like the other one. Uh, they were in the garage, and they had the, the plastic bag wrapped around the roots, uh, around the corm. And uh, these ones did really, really good. They were sitting in the garage against the corner, and um, the top part was kind of uh, flopped over because... Um, it was resting against the corner and, and uh, it would slide down all the time. So it was, it was kind of dead. So I cut it off and you can see this is where I cut it off and we've already got about uh, two inches of growth. Uh, it looks kind of dead right now, but it is alive. Uh, it's pushing up the, the, uh, the dead stuff first and then as it comes up, the, the green will start to develop. Uh, so that's really, really fantastic. Uh, this one I cut off here, same situation. This one was smaller. It was um, uh, flopping over a lot more than the other one was, uh, and it's got about an inch of growth, but I cut it off here, and, and as you can see, it's pushed up uh, about an inch past where my fingers were there. So that's fantastic. I'm super excited. This one still has green, 
It feels really, really firm. It looks fantastic. Uh, this one's going to survive for sure. Well, so is this one. This one also feels really, really good. It's not the same green color, but you can you can feel that it's it's that good living tissue. It's not uh, it's not wrinkled. It's not dry. It's it's uh, it's beautiful. So yeah, I'm very excited to uh, to have tried this method, and I will uh, continue with this uh, every fall for my bigger bananas because it's so nice to start with a bigger plant um, but uh, like I said earlier when you bring them inside they, they tend to grow really really quickly and uh, they end up crushing against the ceiling really easily so right now I'm I'm trying to keep them on the dry side I am watering when the soil becomes dry but they don't really have a big root system as yet uh, they've only been planted for about a week but I want to I wanna have a little bit of moisture in there so that the roots uh, feel at home and they, they start to grow. Um, I just don't want to be too, too wet that it starts to, to rot them out. Um, when the days start to get a little bit warmer, they will move outside. But uh, right now it's just a little bit too cold through the day. They need to be above 10 degrees Celsius uh, or above 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Anything less than that and uh, they don't do well. Uh, they are tropical, so uh, they want to be warm. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this update and the planting, and uh, yeah, uh, until next time you guys, happy growing!